Hey everyone, we are here with what's sold on eBay. Linda is unique. Anyways, uh, yeah. That's his art. Here it is. We should start over. We'll keep going. Uh, we sell stuff on eBay to make some money. You guys know that if you're doing with us for a while, um, husband and wife, reselling team, we do it part time. Um, I do work a full time job. She's also a stay at home mom and she can do more than just nod yes. So the kids are asleep. Uh, so we're going to go over and go over what's sold this weekend. How do we do? This weekend we had 27, count them, 27. Not that many. Woo! 27 <laughs> sales for $12.25. So a good number. And that's $1,225, not $12.25. Yeah. We're here to make money, not be a charity. Anyways, um, with regard to the quantity, not that great for us. We like to have a lot more. We like to have at least 35, 36 on a weekend. Uh, but for the total sales dollar amount, not too bad, so we can't complain. Definitely a unique bit of stuff here. Some interesting stuff for Linda to pack up for sure, too. So she'll have lots of fun coming up. Let's go in and get into it, unless you have something you want to say. Okay, let's start it off. How are we going to pay the bills this week? This week, we're going to pay the bills by logging into our bank accounts. So go ahead and <laughs> put your By working another job. No. <laughs> that is this is our first item. <laughs> this is a Department 56 um, Halloween festival. It's a children's costume parade. So all the little kids have costumes on and they're really cool. And I think, did it say something that it moves or no? Yeah, I think it, I think the, maybe the witch moves or something. I don't know. I maybe the kids go around in a circle. Maybe I'm that's what Spanish it was. Side, I don't know. So I'm not that versed in Spanish. So. But this one did sell for $50 shipped, and that is out of the part, Department 56 buy. We got a <clears> bunch <throat> of the Halloween ones. We sold them all pretty much this yeah. year. We um, only got two little ones. Yeah, left. we sold through all of them in Halloween. So they're setting up for next year, so they're good to go. <laughs> Anyways, next item. Next this item's item. been in the inventory a while. Yeah, it has. This is a 2000 Vintage Men's Arizona Diamondbacks long sleeve. Uh, I'm a sucker for the sports stuff. So. Purple. And it is an extra large, I believe. I should say in there. It's yeah, it's XL. Cut off. I don't know. But it sold for $28. Shit. Yep. It took a while. We've probably had it up for two years, but it finally sold. That was a very long investment. Then we got a Kylie buy. This is a tailor made GAPR. Like a, it's really cool. It's got these turquoise different um, design on it, and it's very it thin, gapper. though. Well, it looks like it's GAPR. There it is, which is Gapper. Okay. It is a hybrid 60 regular, right handed. Golf club. Golf club. There you go. You're doing great. <laughs> 25 degrees something or other. Either way, yeah. It sold for? <laughs> it sold for a hundred dollars. We sold through a lot of the golf clubs we got while my sister was here. A that... lot of the golf clubs? Have you seen the stack over there? If you let me finish, ma'am. The ones that we got with my sister. We've sold through most of them. This is one of the last oh. ones left. It was twenty-five dollars. So we need your sister to She's come. She's a little touch. snarky today, guys. She's a little <laughs> just on edge, like ready to, to jump come at you. Touch all those so that they no. sell. So we bought a lot of high-end clubs that, that weekend. Um, Gotta come back out here. Anyways, twenty-five bucks on that club and it sold for hundred. So that's a good one to look out for. Next up, we have a super cool thing. It's a Hostess Wear vintage cake stand. Box, so. Just be careful. I'm the one who bought so it. this cake stand actually rotates. It's got a little motor and everything, and I, it plays the music, right? Yeah, but it doesn't really work. Though. It doesn't really work, but back in its well, heyday, yeah. it would sit on its stand, and it would rotate um, automatically. Uh, you turn on the button, and it rotates, and it played Happy Birthday, which is super, super cute, guys. I would have loved to have something like that. But it sold in the condition that it's in. It has the box, but it's Oh, really yeah, it does wild. have the box. But it looks like one of those ones that's like in the back of the grocery store where, you know, it had like yucky vegetables in it or something. But it sold for $115 shipped. It was $10. Bucks. Now, the guy thought it worked. It does kind of play sound some, but then it like dies and then it catches again. So we sold it as is. I'm surprised they paid that much. I had it on offers. I was picking someone to make an offer, but... Um, yeah, it did sell. So hopefully there'll be no issue on it, but it was just a unique thing, so I grabbed it. Next up, we have a game. This is Super Mario All Stars for the Wii. It is disc only, but we put it in a nice little case for the person because we care. <laughs> and that one sold for twenty three dollars and some change. Yay! This so we got cool. this football that's been flung all over the garage. This is the sad part. Yeah, it's been like knocked to the ground a couple times, even has dust on it because it fell out of the bin. And it's just been everywhere, literally everywhere in the garage. But this is this is a Ladanian Tomlinson, LT. Uh, full awesome size, football player, by the way. 
limited edition football for the Chargers. It's got some info on it. It's got like his career numbers and everything. So yeah. yeah, it's really cool. It's got his picture on it. So it's all printed on there nice and cutesy. It needs to be pumped up, obviously. And it sold for $20 shipped. That was the best offer. Then... We mm. have a seven pack of this Case is, XX is Knives. Oh yeah. Knives. Miracle. I didn't really made that. I'm learning too. These are cool because they I'm have not... these ridges in them, so it makes it easier to hold onto them. They are stainless steel. And, and we Case have... is a very good brand. At yeah. Bath. You find Case Knives. Certain ones sell for great money. These I just lotted together because none of them were worth a ton. I thought they would sell in a big lot, and they finally did. And Cameron put these as Miracle Edge, so I'm not sure what the Miracle Edge means. Maybe it doesn't dull. Only as that fast. one's a Miracle. I think not all of them are. Oh, some of them are. This there's is a couple, not sharp. There's a couple. Of... Touching it, but... And we also threw in this cute little. Fork. It's a case, little uh, carving fork too. And... For a very small turkey, <laughs> very... not for a big. Just for like it's a like little... for when that you get that single served chicken breast yeah, at the just store. You really <laughs> need it, but you want to use this. And uh, that eight seven pack sold for eight eighty. Dollars. And that was 10 bucks for all of them. Just grab the big thing of knives and I sent an offer out for 80 bucks. Then we got we've a sold quite a few of these. B-Tech amp. Um, we've sold a lot of these. Um, this oh. one is a 30 to 40 watt output um, and it sold for $90. Best shipped. offer. We sold them. So this is for like 125 or something. So sometimes we sell them full price, but I'll send offers out if we have watchers and sales are slow. Took 90. We spent 400 that day, I think is what it was or something like that. Uh, and all the electronics plus the the helmets that we bought uh, the military helmets and we've made quite a bit of money um and we're, we still got more of these little like, electronic things to sell so i wish i could find more of that stuff next up is a pair of marines officer equipment buttons so these go on i believe they put them up here sometimes. you probably wouldn't find these a lot unless you have like a lot of military around you which we do in southern california and a lot yeah, the a lot guy of bases <laughs> well that one of the guys i buy from he does clean outs well his the way he gets it is from clean out, so they have a lot of stuff like that, so that's how we get it. And those sold for seven dollars and some change. Not a whole lot, but they weigh basically nothing. Then we got a shark vest canister. Just the canister part, no motor, no anything extra, it just holds the dirt. And that is for the shark NV five oh one or five oh two. And that sold for thirty four dollars ship. Parting out the vacuums, the canisters like you only get like thirty five bucks for some of them in They're shipping. And so you can get like sixteen bucks, seventeen bucks to ship depending on where it goes if it's free shipping. So the canisters aren't always the best part of the money. A lot of the other little parts that you can ship out first class, you can make better money on. So when I'm buying vacuums, I want it to be a nice one or one that I think a lot of people have. And I don't want to pay more than about five bucks because I do not want to get stuck with, again, not making a lot on the canister. You pay too much, unless it's a high-end Dyson or something like that or a Miele or whatever, um, which we sold the other day. Uh, that Miele one, um, which got good feedback on too. Um, yeah, so those are the bills you can pay up for. But these little sharks and stuff, maybe five bucks or so, don't pay a ton. And make sure they're in good shape. If they're all beat up and destroyed, don't waste your time unless they're free. Next up, we've got a Kenny Chesney 2012 Local Crew T-shirt. Um, this we've got a few different, few different. I think we have a few different sizes. No, all the same size. Oh, it's all extra. We large, had one so. other style from like a different year, but the, we have a bunch of these. I bought a whole bag full for ten bucks at a garage sale. And we sold this one for twenty-two dollars shipped, and it is going global shipping so program. So if you want a Kenny Chesney Local Crew shirt, hit us up. Yeah, let us know. We can get one. Next up, we I'll have. I'll sign it for you. A My where... name's not Kenny though. Wherever Super Shooter uh, cookie kit. We do know a Kenny though, so we could ask. No. Can you imagine? <laughs> so this is that cutesy thing where it's got the little um, push and you can push out different shapes on it. Cameron sold a couple of these, I think. Over the years, yeah. Uh, over the years. Um, but he always seems to get them and then they sit in the death pile. But this one sold for $40 shipped. I left the sticker on the back. We gotta take the rest of that off. But this one was nine bucks, I think. May got a little bit off at the salvage family. So they sell around Christmas time usually, but I'll put another one up because I think I have another one that's ready. Then we got a bestie buy coming at you. This is a vintage DKNY scarf. It is a silk scarf from 1992. And it looks like it's for tennis, volleyball, and swimming. a bunch of sports little things on there. Yeah, so that it was one's a dollar. Sold for $25 shipped. I don't know who buys that kind of stuff, but I, I guess know. they do. Next up, we got this cute little 
Cuisiner coffee craft. Got a little studio apartment, just making yourself a little coffee right here. Boom. You don't have a Keurig, this is what you go with. We had a lady at our church, um, like a long time ago. She would drink eight. Poor lady. Like, pour eight um, full carafts a day of the 12 cup. You know, the ones you get like in your normal coffee maker. She drink eight of those a day. Yeah. She's, coffee didn't have an effect on her. Yeah, that, it was a problem. I'm like, she's you still. Need to see a doctor. Yeah, like her heart. She's still living though. So yeah, I mean, yeah. her heart's just still great. <laughs> beating probably like crazy fast. But this little carafe is stainless steel and it sold for seventeen dollars. This little tiny coffee maker, three bucks. We sold one of the other pieces, I think, for fifteen, and then we sold this for whatever. So we made some money on parting it out. You guys know we part a lot of stuff out. It's a puppet. It's a puppet. <laughs> it's creepy. We also know a puppet master. Whose also name is Kenny. Kenny. <laughs> He's not watching this, but we love you. This is a moose toy ugly pet puppet. Um, it you does have batteries and stuff, and I guess when you do that, it squeezes and makes noise. The and hand so. barely fits in here. Well, oh, it's, it's a child's toy. Yeah. So. so, um, but he sold for twenty dollars shipped. Yeah, I don't He's know. Kind of I'm just happy to see him go. He's like those trash toys, like Zane used, or Noah used to get. Yeah, those, those ugliest pet shops. Are like they like make fun of them. Yeah, those are nasty. Next up, we got a pair of bands. These are the Beatles Yellow Submarine. All you need is They've love. yellowed. Trust me. Yeah. I haven't cleaned, wiped them down. They still were kind of yellow. I might dry again a little bit, but man, but, but these, the bottoms are clean. That's the weird part. Like the yeah, person just so like weird. I don't know, sat in mud and just sat there. <laughs> But it didn't move so they didn't wear off the treads. Their life sucks. <laughs> Anyways. But this pair of met women's seven and a half size, seven and a half, sold for $49 and some change. Those were from Savers. Um, by the way, little tip that I've learned women's shoes at Savers are cheaper than men's shoes. And sometimes they have good prices that are worth picking up. So. Which is funny because when I go and look at the shoes, I'm like, oh, I am not For reselling $8. the men's shoes, at least at our savers in California, the men's shoes, they price them like, you know, half the time eBay price. And the women's shoes are priced just well enough where sometimes you can make some profit. So remember, be on the lookout for those weird colored vans and weird things. Not the, themed. Don't look out for those white and blacks because. Yeah, if you're getting those and no. you want to get them like real, real cheap and she don't expect a lot of profit on them. But yeah. if you get, you know, the different color, weird colorways or just different themes, you can make some money on them. Next up, we got Virtu Virtua Fighter 4 Evolution for PS2, and that one sold for almost $11 shipped. Woohoo! Then we got a vintage cool. Tupperware measuring pitcher with the red lettering on it, and this is the smaller one. We also have a bigger one. It's really yeah. cool. But this one is the two-cup one, and it sold for $13.50. I go shipped. first class. I think it was $0.50. Cents, so. Awesome. Shout out Commonwealth Picker. He's a Tupperware guy. Next up, we have this giant. Just try not to stab myself this with all these knives. 14 quart stock pot by Regal Pyro Ply. Yeah, Regal Pyro Ply. It's a three ply, I think pyro or three ply stainless steel. I think Pyro Ply is like the style of this yeah. or whatever. But there you go, it's giant, guys. And that one sold for $50 shipped. And that was, I think, 12 bucks. I'm in the state, so just looked cool. Big pot, sending the best offer, and they pick it. Then next up, we got this pair of 1984 to 85 yearbooks. These are from um, Central Missouri University. Um, so the same person bought both of them for $35 each. So a total is $70 for that, and those are a bestie buy. Now I'm going to educate you guys a little bit if you don't sell yearbooks. Uh, there's not a huge market usually for university or college yearbooks. High school ones are the pe ones that people want. Those are the ones that are memorable. They go to high school reunions, all that kind of stuff. So I bought eight of them from my source. He had a bunch of them, and it was just I took the whole stack for 10 bucks or whatever it was. Um, I did not expect these ones to sell so quickly. I listed them. I usually list them high, and then I put best offer on. My rule of thumb is if someone offers 25 or more on a yearbook, unless I know it has you know exceptional value because there's someone in there who's really important or whatever, I just take the offer. So this person offered me 35 on two of them. I'm taking it. I'm not going to counter. I'm not going to lose the sale. And the reason is there's not a huge market for these yearbooks, guys. So don't don't turn away a sale where you can make some money uh, unless you're okay with just holding on to them because it could be forever. I mean, I still have some that are, I've listed from long ago when we first started that haven't sold. And granted, every once in a while, one will sell 20, 25 bucks. But um, I've made the mistake on a lot of different items in the past where I got a little greedy or wanted to see if I could counter. And the person, I lost them and I still have that item. There was a hat that I had one time, listed it right away, got an offer of 25 bucks. I listed it at 35, paid a dollar. 
and I'm like, I'll counter at 30. And they declined. And I, it took me two years to sell that hat. And it finally sold for 20 bucks. Because I wanted 30 and that hat wasn't wasn't even worth it. I should have took the 25. And again, you guys might be better than that, better at it than me, but um, don't get too greedy, especially on the Yerbas, because the market's not huge. Unless you know, like I said, there's something really special about it. Or you just like keeping stuff forever, which is cool if you're just a hoarder. But if you <laughs> if you want to get rid of your yearbooks, list them high, take best offers. If someone offers you 25, 30 bucks, you take it and run. Do not waste your time and don't spend a lot on them, but take your money and run. 30 bucks on that, or 70 bucks on that, those two year bucks, and we spent time on everything, and they sold within a day, which was crazy. And there were other ones listed at the same year. So, next. Next up, we have a lot of 45 plays in paperback covers. Yeah, there's, there's this only part of them, obviously. Yeah, there's a stack. Simple math. This is from this is um, Dramatist Play Service and also for Samuel French. So, there's all kinds of different ones, and that lot of 45 sold for $120. Shipped. These came from storage unit guy at one of the buys, I think when we got all the um, Sensies. Oh. Um, but I just threw them in the bucket. They've been listed for a while, but someone came through, listed at 140 and someone's like, I'll buy them a day for 120 I'm like, you can have them. Because they've been there and they've been moved around. And, and it's a good deal. I mean, 120 bucks for just a big stack of plays. So hopefully they love them. Happy to see them go. Yep. Next up we have a VTech uh, 5.8 gigahertz cordless handset base. And that one sold for fifteen dollars and some change. Uh, it's gonna go probably pad a flat rate because the power cord is so darn heavy. Um, the handset bases usually don't do that well because people have those; they want to buy the replacement chargers and stuff. Um, so I don't. I, I'll list these a lot of times, but they don't usually sell that great. So we'll make a little bit. Next up, we've got a Nikon One Touch camera, and it is for parts or repair. I forgot what's wrong with it, but oh, it was a bad. Oh, the battery cover thing is broken right here. So. And it sold for $25 shipped. These Nikon One Touches, though, look out for these guys. A lot of these sell. So these little 35 millimeter cameras are really doing well. You know, not always a ton of money, but some of them go for crazy. But even 20, 25 bucks, you get them for a buck or two. Usually they're pretty easy to test out just to see if most of the functions work. Next up, we got a Cuisinart uh, DLC 10C work This one's got a lot of like, you know. It looks like they like stuck a bolt in it and like or ran they had through. something in there or they had a I don't know almost like something that was just I don't know rubbing against the side but it's not cracked or anything and it still you know seems okay I listed a little cheaper because of that and it's probably why it's taking a while to sell though but it still sold for forty dollars forty shipped. bucks so happy to see it go we love the Cuisinart's part of out usually works the best for us and then you guys saw the other day we sold um two sets of the women's we're still not sure women's why day. one person bought two sets encyclopedia of them, cookery one for their mother-in-law who knows so it is volumes one through 12 and that might be a bad gift like if you're giving one of your mother-in-law like oh you can't cook here here's a whole inspection yeah but it's vintage i don't know and like, one lady, one lady messaged me and she goes can you look through all the books and find out where this recipe is and i was like <laughs> and she goes, I'll pay you for the recipe. And I'm like, I'm not going to look through all 12 volumes or whatever there are. Well, actually, it's by the the type of food that it is. So it wouldn't have taken you that long. Well, actually. at the time, it seemed very tedious. Oh. Now I got to go back, probably go and mess that lady because now I'm like a jerk. These are from the Hirsch buy and uh, these sold for 37 and a half ships. With that said, uh, I don't recommend buying these. Like unless no, you're getting a 38 shipped, we're getting a 37 shipped and media mail is going to cost us like 14 bucks, 15 bucks. Um, and they've, we've had these since we've been in this new house almost a year. Um, and probably a year because I think I listed at your other house. Uh, your well, and we house. still have one set that doesn't have volume. They're one. not even listed. Oh, I you just get rid of them? I just kept them and I'm like, well, maybe I'll find volume. <laughs> it's not worth it. Probably not. Let's just get rid of it. But there's part of me that says, nope. we've sold no, three of no. them in a week. No. So, <laughs> so you're saying there's no. a chance. So Next you're up, telling me there's a chance. We've got Sonic Unleashed for the PS2. Uh, it is the disc and manual only, but someone took the liberty of printing a copy of the manual. This pretty much looks authentic. And put it in the case. They did a wonderful job. This <laughs> and, is the black and white version. <laughs> Sold for twelve dollars shipped. So then, last item? Yeah, the last item. Oh, we got we're already done. See how boring this is. Samsung Blu-ray and DVD and CD player. Um, this thing is, can do it all. It does have the remote and all the wires needed to use it, and it's in two thousand seven. This was prime time right here. This was the best. <laughs> Let's see what it said in the back. I'll really quick. I looked at it. 
Um, this was like a dollar from my guy that I buy from. And um, he's like, just take it, man. It's only a dollar. I'm like, I don't really sell the Blu-rays. But I looked it up and they do sell. Bought the remote for like $6 shipped because you got to have the remotes to sell these and it's sold for $36. So we're in it for 7 bucks. Really small. That's why I don't recommend buying Blu-rays though. Some of them do well that have the Wi-Fi built in. So Well, and the problem is a lot of people have the gaming systems now and your gaming systems play all the DVDs. And who's really watching a lot of Blu-rays these days? I mean, with all the streaming services, like Nobody DVDs, DVDs and Blu-rays. I mean, people will buy some DVDs that are out of print and stuff, but I feel like they're less likely to even buy Blu-rays. I still see them sell, but... I think Blu-ray was a fad thing that came out and was like, you have to have Blu-ray, but then nobody really bought the Blu-ray because if you put a regular disc in a Blu-ray player, it was fine. Yeah, and everyone's like, well, the quality of a DVD is still pretty good. Yeah, why am I going to pay $12 like, but, more well, for Well, they're like, oh, but for $15 a month, I can stream everything I want to my TV. Yes, that's what I'll do. We don't pay for TV. We just do streaming services. We don't have time for TV. We watch YouTube and we watch streaming services and we barely watch those. Yeah. But we're going to start. Because there's a lot of good shows out there. The Mandalorian's yeah, coming back. We're going to have to watch the, watch all the, the Book of Marvel Boba Fett. Ones. All that stuff. If you're watching that kind of stuff, let us know. Or if there's any other good yeah. shows out there that you, we want us to watch, we, we might like get to Viking them sometime shows. before we die. Well, I like Viking shows. Oh, I like them. We watch the Vikings. My brother-in-law looks like a Viking when he does his hair and when he doesn't look like a homeless guy. That's my brother. Calling you out. <laughs> yeah, he's, he does look like a Viking. When he does his hair. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> thanks so much. And he watches this sometimes. So, Ian, you can talk to her about that because she said you look homeless. I said it off the camera. I said it on camera for all yeah. my fans. If he if he lets his thing get a little sh little shaggy and everything, he does look a little bit uh, like he's wandering. He's a transient <laughs> wandering the streets, which Love works him. for where he work, where yeah. he lives. Anyways, uh, that's all we got, guys. Let me be back if anything else sells. We had an hour or two left. An hour left. And um, if not, we'll both see you uh, on Monday with what sells. Catch Take care. You? <laughs> oh, gotta do one of those cool little endings. Yeah, I don't know what to do. <laughs> gotta think of something. Work I on know. That. Okay. okay. Bye. Bye.